Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to explore a different angle of the current AI revolution. This is about AI and materials discovery and innovations. Did you know that AI has actually already discovered millions of new materials? Isn't that just mind-blowing? It sounds absolutely incredible, doesn't it? I mean, who wouldn't be excited about something this awesome? It's like a dream come true. It feels just like stepping into a wild sci-fi movie, doesn't it? Seriously, it's like you're living in a totally different world, right? Big headlines are everywhere, right? Seriously, it's hard to miss them these days. You just can't escape all the buzz. Fueled by amazing breakthroughs like AlphaFold, which can predict the structure of proteins with stunning accuracy. It honestly felt like we were right on the edge of a materials revolution, you know? It was super exciting, like we could totally change the game in so many ways. AI is seriously cranking out some mind-blowing designs for new materials that could totally change the game. How cool is that? Imagine super strong alloys, hyper-efficient batteries, and who knows a room temperature superconductor. How cool is that? The hype was absolutely real, right? But now, the scientific community is taking a collective deep breath, facing a way more complicated reality than we ever expected. A cool simulation on a computer screen is just a far cry from the real deal, right? You know, something tangible that you can actually hold in your hand. The big problem here is what scientists are calling the synthesis gap, right? It's like there's this huge disconnect between what we know and what we actually do with that knowledge. Imagine an AI model as a brilliant but naive chef. It can generate thousands of beautiful, elaborate recipes for dishes that have never been tasted before. But when you actually try to cook them, you find out half the ingredients don't exist. The cooking instructions are physically impossible. You know that feeling when you whip up a dish and it just crumbles the moment you pull it out of the oven. Well, that's kind of what's been going on in material science lately. It's been a wild ride. Many of these millions of AI-predicted materials are turning out to be unsynthesizable. They just can't be made with current technology. Or, if they can be made, they're incredibly unstable. They might look perfect in a perfect digital vacuum. But when you let them breathe in real air and feel the warmth, bam, it's like a whole new vibe. They break down or turn into something totally useless. And for the ones that can be made and actually stick around, well, that's a whole different story. So many of them really don't have anything special or useful to offer, right? It's like discovering a treasure chest full of shiny rocks, but when you dig in, they're just your everyday, boring stones. You know what I mean? Such a letdown. This light bulb moment has completely flipped our thinking on so many things now. The new frontier isn't just about designing materials in a computer. It's about closing the loop between the digital world and the physical world. It's all about teaching AI not just to dream big, but also to soak up what's real out there. And honestly, that's where the fun really kicks in. A new wave of well-funded, ambitious startups are building what they call self-driving labs or autonomous laboratories. Picture this. A lab running completely on autopilot, with AI handling everything effortlessly. Companies like Lila Sciences, Periodic Labs, and Radical AI are really shaking things up in this movement, bringing fresh ideas and innovation to the table. They're putting together these super cool spots where AI agents are totally in charge. How awesome is that? Ever wondered how this whole thing actually works? Let's dive in and figure it out together, shall we? It's like a never-ending cycle, you know? It keeps spinning around and around. It's wild how life feels like that sometimes, right? So, picture this. The AI model comes up with a new material that it believes could totally improve electric car batteries. How cool is that? It doesn't just pull this out of thin air. It bases its prediction on all the existing scientific literature and data it has been trained on. It doesn't just stop there. The AI goes ahead and actually designs the experiment to bring it to life. It's all about nailing the perfect recipe, right? You've got to know which chemicals to mix, at just the right temps, and in the right order. 
It's like a fun science experiment. Then, it sends these instructions to robotic arms and automated lab equipment. These robots physically carry out the synthesis process. We're mixing up the chemicals, heating them just right, and whipping up a cool sample of this awesome new material. It's going to be so much fun to see how it turns out. As soon as the sample's ready, a whole crew of super cool automated tools jumps in to give it a spin. It's like a party of tech making everything come alive. They'll take a good look at its properties, like how much energy it packs, how fast it charges and discharges, and how stable it stays over time. All this fresh real-world data gets sent straight to the AI. Then, the AI dives in and checks out the results. Did everything work out like we thought? Did it turn out better this time? What do you honestly think about it? Worse, seriously, why do you think that? I'm really curious to know what's got you feeling that way. It picks up on what happens in the real-world experiment, you know? Honestly, maybe the material just totally flopped, you know? What a bummer. It's like you really hoped for something awesome, but it just didn't hit right. That data is still super valuable, you know? It really matters. It's like gold in today's world. The AI figures out what doesn't work and gets better at chemistry and physics. It's like a smart buddy learning from its mistakes. Now that we've got this new info, let's dive into planning the next experiment. It's going to be exciting. It might suggest a totally different chemical mix, or maybe even a new temperature, right? We're diving into a fresh and exciting way to shake things up, you know? Here we go again, right? The cycle just keeps on spinning, doesn't it? It's like we're stuck in this loop, and honestly, it's a bit exhausting, you know? Create it, put it together, give it a whirl, and then pick up some lessons. It just keeps going, 24 sevens, without even needing a coffee break, you know? It's like a non-stop party, right? This iterative process allows the AI to rapidly explore the vast landscape of possible materials, finding our way to a successful discovery by listening to real feedback, right? It's not just some theory or guesswork. It's all about real predictions, you know? We're diving into what's actually gonna happen. We're aiming for nothing less than a super fast boost, you know? We want to kick things into high gear and really make it happen. Finding a new material from the first spark of an idea to actually selling it can take ages like 10 years or even longer. Imagine how much time and effort went into creating things like Gorilla Glass for our phones or those super strong alloys in jet engines. It's pretty wild, right? It's honestly a super slow and tricky process of trial and error, you know? You just have to keep trying different things until something clicks. It's really all about trusting our gut and diving into loads of hands-on lab work, you know? It's where the magic happens. These new autonomous labs aim to shrink that timeline from decades down to just a few years, or maybe even months. Automating those boring, repetitive parts of research really makes everything so much easier and way faster. Seriously, it's a game changer. Scientists are freed up to focus on the bigger picture, asking the right questions, interpreting the complex results, and guiding the overall research strategy. The AI is like having a super speedy lab buddy who's always ready to help. It never gets tired and is super smart, right? The potential applications are absolutely mind-boggling, right? Just think about all the possibilities. I mean, we're talking about everything from everyday tasks to groundbreaking innovations. It's super exciting. Ready to jump into some super cool breakthroughs that could really change our world for the better? Let's go. AI-powered labs could totally discover fresh ways to make green hydrogen super cheap and easy to produce. Imagine the possibilities. Let's dive into some awesome new materials for solar cells that soak up sunlight like a champ. For batteries, they could unlock chemistries that lead to safer, longer-lasting batteries that charge in minutes, completely transforming electric vehicles and energy storage. They could even design new materials to pull carbon dioxide directly out of the atmosphere. And yes, the dream of a room-temperature superconductor is still out there. 
Absolutely. It's a big challenge, but I know we can totally tackle it together. Let's dive in and make it happen. These AI labs are seriously one of our best chances to find that game-changing material. However, we need to keep our feet on the ground. Despite all the excitement and the growing investment pouring into these companies, the field still hasn't had its big chat GPT moment where everything flips upside down. It's like waiting for that one game-changing moment, you know? There hasn't been one single undeniable breakthrough material discovered by an autonomous lab that has completely changed an industry. We're still in the early days. Building these labs is super tricky and honestly costs a whole lot of cash, you know? It's like a big puzzle, and it can get really expensive, right? You're bringing together the coolest robotics, smart AI software, and super sensitive scientific tools. Getting all those pieces to fit together perfectly, that's a huge engineering puzzle. The real world is just messy, you know? Experiments can fail for unexpected reasons, equipment can break, and chemical reactions don't always behave the way you expect. The AI really needs to be sharp enough to tackle all this chaos and learn from the wild and unpredictable world we live in, right? It's a challenge. The ultimate test will be whether these AI-run labs can consistently deliver novel materials that are not only scientifically interesting, but also scalable and commercially viable. Creating a tiny bit of this wonder material in a lab is one thing, but imagine how it works in the real world. It's a completely different challenge to figure out how to manufacture that material by the ton, affordably and reliably. That's the bridge we still need to cross, right? So, what's the real deal here? Are we ready to tackle it together, or what? AI is totally ready to change the game for how we find and create the stuff that'll shape our future, you know? It's a powerful tool that will turbocharge the process of scientific discovery. But the real magic won't happen in the virtual world of simulations alone. It's all gonna go down where artificial intelligence meets our everyday physical world. Success really comes down to diving into the messy and pricey world of hands-on experimentation. It's totally essential, you know? The future of materials isn't just about thinking. It's all about building, testing, and getting hands-on with new ideas. It's like this endless loop of learning that just keeps getting quicker and smarter. The revolution is coming, and it's going to be real. Built from the ground up, not just some simulation. Really appreciate you tuning in. You guys are awesome, and I can't wait to see you next time. You know, if you thought this little sneak peek into the future of science and tech was cool, just wait until you see what's next. If you enjoyed this, smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome dives into the topics that are shaping our world. I'd love to hear what kind of material breakthrough gets you really excited. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Can't wait to see you in the next one.